welcome to another Mate Science Easy Chemistry lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the topic of diffusion. We're going to be finding out what diffusion is and what affects it. So, what is diffusion? Well, diffusion is the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. So if we look at the little graphic to the right-hand side of the screen, we can see that on the left-hand side of this box, the blue particles have a high concentration. There are lots of them there. There are no red particles on the left-hand side, so there is a low concentration of red. On the other hand, on the right-hand side of the screen, there are no blue particles at all, so it has a low concentration of blue. There are lots of red particles, so there's a high concentration of red. Now, what's important to remember is that individual particles move randomly. And this allows gases and liquids to mix because the particles can move. So here we can see the particles are moving randomly. Each one is moving randomly. Now, I'm just going to stop it at any point. And we can see that after a while, the particles have mixed. The blue particles and the red particles have spread out. So the blue particles have moved from where there was a high concentration to where there's a low concentration. The red particles are spread out from where there's a high concentration to where there's a low concentration. And now we don't actually have any concentration that's high or low anywhere. There's really no concentration gradient at all. So diffusion always results in a situation where there is no difference in concentration. Now, diffusion can never take place in solids because the particles are in a fixed position. Diffusion can only take place in liquids and gases because the particles are free to move. Now, diffusion is generally much slower in liquids than in gases as particles and gases are further apart. So they're less likely to collide with each other and slow each other down. The movement of particles in diffusion can be described as something called Brownian motion. So individual particles in a gas or a liquid are too small to see. We have to infer their behaviour. We have to work out what they're doing. And a Scottish botanist called Robert Brown attempted to observe pollen through a microscope and he suspended it in oil. And when he was observing the pollen through his microscope, he noticed that it kept on vibrating. No matter what he did when he put this pollen in the oil, it was vibrating, it kept on moving. And he eventually concluded that it was due to the movement of oil particles. Even though he couldn't see the oil particles because they're too small, they must have been moving and they were causing his pollen grains to vibrate. So the movement produced when particles collide and make other particles move is called Brownian motion. We can see there's an image here showing example paths of how a particle might move due to Brownian motion. So Brownian motion causes a random pattern of motion with lots of changes of direction to individual particles. And it's caused by particles colliding with one another. So we can see here in this video clip, there are particles vibrating. So we can see how Brownian motion works with this animation. The small particles are moving and they're vibrating and they keep on colliding with the large particle. Every time they collide with the large particle, they change its direction. So this is exactly how Brownian motion works because of the collision of particles. And we can see here the path that this particle took because it was hit by these smaller particles. So Brownian motion is evidence that supports the kinetic particle model. These observations from Brownian motion support what we know about the particle model. And as we heat particles up, they'll vibrate more and it will cause Brownian motion to become more extreme. Again, more evidence for the kinetic model. And this motion can also be observed by looking at a microscope and looking at the movement of smoke particles under the microscope. And we can see that they follow this exact pattern that we'd expect with Brownian motion. They vibrate and they move randomly. Despite being in a gas, despite being free to move, they're being hit and bumped and collided with by smaller particles making them move. Now in gases, there is one factor that really affects the rate of diffusion, and this is its molecular mass. So the rate of diffusion is affected by the size or the molecular mass of a particle. 
I'm not going to explain what molecular mass is at the moment. You will learn about this in later lessons. But for now, it's worth knowing that molecular mass basically relates to size. The bigger the molecular mass, the bigger the particles are. It's a bit of a simplification, but it's going to do for our model for diffusion. So the larger a particle is, the more likely it is to collide with another. So when particles collide, Brownian motion occurs. If particles collide more, then it's going to have its path changed and it's going to diffuse more slowly. So a good example of this is diffusion of ammonia and hydrochloric acid. So at one end, if we take some cotton wool and we soak it with concentrated ammonia, NH3, and we then put a bung in the end and leave it, ammonia has a molecular mass of 17. At the other end, at exactly the same time, we soak some cotton wool with hydrochloric acid, and it must be concentrated hydrochloric acid, and hydrochloric acid has a molecular mass of 36.5. So we put this in the other end and we put the bung in. The gases will then diffuse. Now, if the particles diffuse at the same rate, we would expect a reaction to occur in the middle, but it doesn't. Where the two gases meet, a reaction occurs and a smoke ring forms, and we can see that the smoke ring is much closer to the hydrochloric acid. This is because the particles of hydrochloric acid have diffused more slowly. And the particles of hydrochloric acid have diffused more slowly because they are larger than the particles of ammonia. So the ammonia has diffused further than hydrochloric acid because the particles are smaller. They collide less, so it's easier for them to diffuse. Now we can illustrate this with particles again, showing the diffusion of some particles. And we can see the ammonia particles have diffused much further than the hydrochloric acid particles, so the reaction takes place about two-thirds of the way along, much, much closer to the hydrochloric acid, because larger particles diffuse more slowly than smaller particles. The temperature of a substance affects its rate of diffusion. The warmer particles are, the more energy they have. The more energy they have, the faster they move. The faster they move, the faster they diffuse. And we can show this by adding a chemical called potassium manganate 7 to water. Potassium manganate 7 is a purple chemical and it will turn the water purple. So the water diffuses out and the purple colour spreads. Now we can see diffusion is much faster at 70 degrees than it is at 20 degrees because the particles at 70 degrees have more energy so the particles can spread out faster and diffusion is much faster at a higher temperature. So, in summary, diffusion is the movement of particles in gases and liquids from areas of high concentration to low concentration. Diffusion results in there being an equal spread of particles. Brownian motion is the random movement of particles as they diffuse. Particles collide with each other. As they do, they change direction. Larger particles diffuse more slowly than smaller ones because they're going to collide more. Warmer particles move faster as they have more energy, so they diffuse faster. I hope you've really enjoyed this lesson. I hope you now understand what diffusion is. If you're enjoying these lessons, don't forget to check out the rest of our lessons on YouTube. And please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to us if you do. Our website's got loads more lessons and loads of extra resources that are really going to help aid your learning that we just can't put on YouTube.